Hello, my real estate people. It is your realtor gal. Today we have an update on Crosswind Ranch and Crosswind Point. Um, I'm sorry for the hiatus. We started a family and I had a baby about 10 months ago. So if you look back at my videos, my last videos were around 10 months ago and you can just tell how pregnant I was. So I am back. I'm slowly starting to get back into the videos now. So it is a little bit more difficult now that I have a little baby crawling around everywhere, but I'm going to try my best to try to get all these videos out because there's a lot of updates. A lot has happened in 10 months, a lot, a lot, a lot. So we do have a Crosswind Ranch update. I know everyone's been longing to see what kind of commercial is going to come out in front of Crosswind Point on 62 and 301 there. We have a new builder coming into Crosswind um, Ranch and they have picked up a lot, a lot, a lot of land. So Homes by West Bay is the um, developing company, if you will, or developing builder, if you will. And they own all of the land and they've been picking up I mean, I think they've picked up over 600 acres in the last year to add to Crosswind Ranch. So let's get into it. I want to show you on a map just in case you aren't familiar so we can kind of view everything together. Um, if you aren't familiar with Crosswind Ranch, it is located in Parrish, Florida. The developer and builder, primary builder, is Homes by West Bay. They are a local builder out of Tampa, and they also have their little sister company, if you will, Casa Fresca. So Homes by West Bay actually owns Casa Fresca. Casa Fresca is just a little bit more affordable, um, a little bit more of a for affordable product line. Um, Homes by West Bay also has different tiers, the Innovation Series, Artisan Series. So they have a lot of different tiers. Um, and Casa Fresca is probably just the most affordable out of those options. So Crosswind Point is the little sister to Crosswind Ranch. So they are essentially the same CDD, but it's just a smaller subdivision as opposed to Pro Crosswind Ranch, which is listed as Cone Ranch here. Um, but they've picked up a lot of land over here. But let's start with the commercial aspect. I think that's what a lot of people want to know. Um, so they have filed for a, an adjustment um, for the commercial here. So they also added this eight acre parcel that's right below this parcel. So we actually have two components of the commercial um, in front of Crosswind Point. So it's this portion right here and then we also have this portion along 62 and Spencer Parish Road here. Um, they picked up the eight acre parcel and they have made some revisions <laughs> to the plans for the commercial, it's kind of a buzzkill. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is the original plan. Um, so you can see that they had a lot of storefronts here and actually they had more homes coming in over here. And this is not there right now. So this, when you come through the neighborhood, it's just this row here. Um, so this was the approved plans they have submitted to the county for this is their rendering if you will um <laughs> self-storage seventy-five thousand square feet of self-storage along 301 here and then they did a revision they wanted to um obviously add that eight acre parcel and then they are going to add a cell tower if I'm not mistaken, that's what the plans had when they submitted for the um, approval. They're going to add a cell tower. Where that's going to go, I don't know. I truly hope that it's not in someone's backyard because that would be really disappointing if you bought along this area. I did have buyers in here and I told them, please don't buy along this area because we don't know what the heck's going in over here. Um, so if we were looking, there's a couple of resales that have popped up lately. Um, I probably would just note that, that there's a cell tower going up. Um, they also, so that you're going to add self storage, more self storage. I mean, Lord have mercy. They just did a, more self storage right over here. Storage, storage. I mean, do we need more self storage? Apparently we do 75,000 square feet of it. Um, and then they're going to be more commercial. What I, what are they going to put in there? I'm not really quite sure. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something cool. Hopefully something that we actually need and that we will frequent and set up a self-storage facility. Get rid of your junk, people. Don't store it. Anywho, they also have picked up a 34 acre. They just closed down at 34 acres and it's right here. If you can see this. They just picked up that 34 acres. So if you 
live in Crosswind Point or you're looking in Crosswind Point, if you there the old Casa Fresca model is right here. Me, can I zoom in? Let me see. Let me zoom in. The old Casa Fresca model is like right here, and then there's the um, well, it was, right, it was right here, and then there's like this weird road that has a cutoff. So I'm assuming that's going to tie in, and then they're going to put more homes right in this 34 acres here. I thought they were also going to pick up this parcel, um, but they did not. It didn't sell to them. So um, I'm not sure if it will be the homes by West Bay or if they'll add more um, Casa Fresca to this 40, 34 acres, but they did pick up this 34 acres of land. And so if we go up to Crosswind Ranch, they have picked up so much land. I mean, even... They closed on, I think, 300, 400 acres just in December. Um, it's, it is going to be a massive community. So they have, I don't know if they sold off the land to um, if Mattamy Homes. So Mattamy has 244 acres. And it's, if I can get that parcel up, let me do it this way. It's 244 acres. And it's right here. If you can see it in purple, this is my MLS. If you can see it in purple here, it runs, it's pretty large. Oh, 228 acres. I apologize. I thought it was 244. 228 acres right here. So it runs through. Um, they have approved the plans here. And here are the plans for that. So Hartwood Way is right here at the bottom. So here's Hartwood Way. And then you will tie into this community right here. It will be, I'm assuming it's going to be a part of Crosswind Ranch. Um, so this is Madby Homes. I think it was, per, I don't remember, 400 something homes that it was proposed. But if you can kind of see the map here. Um, which is actually pretty exciting because, it, be, because of the scale of this community. I think it's great to have a variety of builders, just like North River Ranch. It's super popular because there's a lot of different price points. There's a lot of different um, types of homes that are in there to really speak to other multiple buyers instead of just having one product line and this is the buyer and this is what we're you know marketing towards. I think it's great to have a variety of builders in there at different price points, um, two stories, one story, single stories, three car garages, two car garages. I think it's very, very important. So I think that's very exciting. Um, so Madame Homes is, I'm assuming that they're going to, they're going to start selling off to other, um, builders here. I mean, they picked up this parcel. They just closed in December, um, 117 acres. We have this parcel, 50 acres. We, they picked up all of this over here. They, I mean, they picked up where are they? even more North. I mean, the list goes on. I mean, they, I, I think it's over 800 acres they picked up. And now I know a lot of people are going to question the FDAB line. They've already submitted. I mean, this was a probably over a year ago because they had this weird little section over here because the FDAB line ran through here and they already submitted for um, approval to kind of avoid that. So they're going to be building everywhere. I mean, it just is what it is. I know that will disappoint a lot of people. Um, as well, but they're picking up all the land. This is going to be a massive community. And I mean, here's the original, let me find the, this is the original, um, plan for Crosswind Point. And the original plan was pretty large. I mean, you can just see how large the community is. This is 301 here. Um, the community is very, very large. So they picked up parcels over here, way more West. So going to be exciting to see what happens. Hopefully a lot more builders come into play. Um, and as always, if I can give you any information, I still, you know, I follow along. I just can't get to the video screen. So if I can give you any information, I also would love to help you buy and sell a home. I am a realtor. I do live in Parish, Florida. I will be raising my family here in Parish, Florida. So I have a vested interest in keeping myself informed, keeping you informed, um, trying to give you the best advice as I possibly can. Um, but I would love to work for you and earn your trust. So if I can help you at all, I would love to do that. So thank you so much and talk soon.